think about any of that, I'm going to get presentable and just take you along this chill, calm day before the chaos of travelling across the world to visit my Thai family. I am currently at my grandmother's house. I'm starting off in the most wholesome of places. A very nostalgic moment right now. Playing with a camera. <laughs> it's kind of where it all began. So I'm going to just sip my coffee, do some makeup and just kind of ramble, having a good old camp time. Prep. I need to like repack my suitcase because I don't know if it's like the best organisation that I've got going on right now because I kind of ran out of the house. Yesterday in prep to come to Thailand I was printing out my visas because we are needing to have multiple entries to go into Thailand. Also a Cambodia visa because we're going to go around to the Kingdom of Cambodia. But I ended up finding it in my deleted folder of my email so crisis averted otherwise I would have gone through like a month and a half of trying to get this visa and it would have just been for nothing, 150 quid down the drain, but we're on track, we're on track. While I was rushing to pack everything and getting anxious, I kind of just chucked everything together. So maybe I can do a bit of repacking and see if anything is non-essential to bring along. I've got these like packing cubes, which have been really helpful. These are literally just from Amazon. Whoops. This is just like in my backpack, but I need to reorganize that as well. I've got my little bum bag. And Steve. How cute is this mug? I think it's very cute. I'm just playing. Ah! Oh my God. Like I've become the most stiff I've ever been after working continuously non-stop for six months at my desk job. Actually a little bit insane. So I'm going to do just a little bit of eyebrows and a little bit of eyeliner, just so that you can see my features. So yeah, how have I come about this opportunity to go to Thailand for 45 days? It feels like my life has been running up to this moment since I've <laughs> graduated. So I was lucky enough to go to Ecuador pretty immediately after I finished my submissions and went in the summer on a research documentary trip. And then after I came back from that experience, I landed myself a role at my current job and pretty immediately as I started working, my grandmother, Maya, says, I'm going to be going to Thailand in 2024 New Year's. Do you want to come along? And do you want to stay for a while? And we can go around. And I of course said yes, but because I'd just started my job, I needed to think, okay, well, how long is this trip going to be if I'm going? And so it's okay, 45 days sounds perfect. Now, the trouble with that is most workplaces, most nine to five workplaces aren't going to give you 45 days for free um, to just leave. <laughs> I have been accumulating over time since the start of working, literally since the start, since August 2023, ended up doing 140 hours of overtime between September and January um, and now I'm going to be using that paid overtime in order to go and explore. So it's been a really long season of grinding so so very hard because of how much I've been grinding, but remaining stationary, my my body has just like kind of seized up a little bit. <laughs> I'm a big 
fan of yoga and have been practicing yoga for three, four years now. And even so, the amount of sitting I've been doing and trying to stretch it out in between, I've just noticed like my hips and my lower back and like my shoulders and like all around here just slowly bending into the letter C. I'm ready to be more active and out and about in the world and stretching in a healing way. So yeah, I'm going with my friend Lisa, who you will probably see in a few videos, probably all of them, because she's going to be experiencing this magical opportunity with me. I do see this being a deeply personal trip. I mean, I'm going to be meeting maybe 15 members of my extended family that I've never met before, um, introduced to a culture that I have been raised around, however have not experienced in my adult life. I'm going to be reconnecting with my grandmother, who I haven't seen for a long time now, being educated and being immersed in Thai culture. I've been reading this book by Lonely Planet. I got this for Christmas from, from my, uh, my dad. I've been trying to practice little bits of my Thai beforehand. Sawadika, the different pronouns that people use to refer to people at different age or status levels. So you have Ya, which is my grandmother, P and Pa for cousins and aunts, Nong. Kun put pasa angrit daimai. Ka. I sound like an AI. <laughs> okay, we have eyebrows. Oh my god, they're definitely not symmetrical. Nobody's looking. <laughs> it's gonna be trippy, like, if you are familiar with this channel, I'm keen on the Unreal Engine tech side of YouTube um, and tutorial baddie, but I'm not going to be that for the next couple of uploads and if you joined here for that content then don't worry, it's going to pop up again, but I have decided that I don't want to be a tutorial channel, I want my channel to be my channel, so if that's a disappointment then I'm sorry, but if you're curious about who I am as an individual rather than just a teacher, then yeah, stick around, I think it's going to be worth your while. You'll get a little bit of cultural education, and I'm still going to be doing some like techie and creative stuff in this trip. We're going to some of the most amazing places. So I'm definitely going to be doing some like photogrammetry work, I think. And of course, video editing. That's a big intention. I want to get out of my own way. To get out of my own way when it comes to making videos, I'm not going to hold myself to a strict schedule because I find that never really works for me. I'm just keeping that authenticity running what I want to do rather than the infamous algorithm. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. <laughs> I love just speaking to myself so much. <laughs> I've been watching and listening to a lot of Leo Skeppi recently, who I <laughs> pretend that I give off the same energy as. Um, he made a really good point in one of his episodes about self-love and cultivating a good relationship with yourself. Um, and if all else fails, then the least you can do is you can look in the mirror and say, at least this bitch gets it. At least they get this. They get it. They understand. And I've had this. I've had a, a mirror on my desk while I've been working late into the evening. And I, sometimes when I'm just like rendering, my eyes are bloodshot as hell. I've been like working for 12 hours, 13 hours straight and I would just look in this mirror at this sad, sad tired little boy and go, at least they get it, at least they get it. And I mean, you can still see the remnants of my bloodshot eyes and, oh, how do I get this mint? Oh my God. 
every time, man. Um, yeah. At least somebody gets it. If it feels like no one else does, at least someone gets it and not someone is yourself. What else have I been doing for prepara preparation of this trip? I have been doing the yoga with Adrian flow series, which is a yoga series with literal mother. When I say I've been practicing yoga for like three years, it is literally just like three years of watching yoga with Adrian, as well as yoga with Olive, Black Yogi Nico, and the first person who it was, oh my god, who was the first person that taught me yoga? Sarah Beth, oh my god. I'm gonna continue doing yoga every day while I am away. Yoga intentions, I want to have a combination of, okay, picture this, Leo Skeppy. Leo Skeppy and Downward Zorg with the breath and calmness of Adrian, the flexibility of Dedica. You get it. You get my vision. In what ways am I in my own way at this stage of life? Uh, looking to blame my own energy level issues on external factors when it is thoroughly in my power to control. Um, that sounds very cryptic, but more directly. When I was burnt out from work, yes, it was because there was a lot of work to do, but it was mainly because of the ways that I was completing that work. As I said, going late into the evening, which is obviously a symptom of overtime, but like, yeah, just going forward, not doing overtime. <laughs> very simple. Taking breaks, my worth is not tied to my work and my career development. Just touching a bit more grass. Um, like not living in a brain construction of what the world is and reality is and actually just interacting and finding out what it is. Having a little bit more faith in myself, in my decisions, in my power, in my like confidence levels. Feeling grounded in what is known and like nostalgic. I've been having a hell of a lot of nostalgia over the past couple of months as I've just been working by myself. There's good nostalgia where it is like, oh, like, for example, some of the smells that are happening in my grandmother's house feels really nostalgic and the textures that just send you right back to when you were a kid. But also some quite sad conceptual nostalgia, like being on a computer late at night when I was a kid used to be such a treat and an adventure and like d diving into the unknown and being this like this unknown little soldier just on youtube or on deviant art like just figuring out what the internet is and now i have to or i have had to well not had to i when i choose to be on the computer late at night it's usually for work and doesn't have that same feeling of adventure but again that's within my power to create and that's me getting out of my own way in order to cultivate that yeah you know what you have to start somewhere so this is what i'm gonna be like when i leave i kind of have his eyeliner this is me and Lisa. <laughs> awesome. Okay, thank you so much for watching, if you are watching. This is my face and my eyebrows now, and I will chat to you later. Ciao.